Hello Art and anybody else that uh, will be helped by this video. We're going to discuss slave cylinder cups for the T50-12 uh, and uh, 14 brake booster. We got on macro so you can see what's going on. And uh, I've had questions concerning the seals that I supply. I'm sorry, this is a cup. This is a cup. Okay, I've had questions about the cup that I supply to go on the piston in terms of the cup not being the right size and I'm going to show people that I believe it is the right size and I think it's uh, doing exactly what it needs to be to do. This happens to be an original uh, that um, I, I salvage. This is it's a bit in service as you can see by the um, rub marks here but this has got the original cup in there and um, if you try and take and put this inside here it won't go unless you force it in place. So we have drag on the lips. Lips are still in good shape in that regard. All right. First of all, let's get some measurements here. Let's make sure you understand. We are, we are on the same page here. So we have got, it is an 11 sixteenths ID, which you can see up here. That's 11 sixteenths. And we've got Eleven sixteenths on the piston. Eleven sixteenths on the piston. Now then, for instance, if we take this cup right here and we put our calipers on it, no, I'm not going to enter the phone. Alright, so we got a little bit of drag. Just trying to, hard to measure rubber. But we got a little bit of drag right there. You can see it's actually holding on to the calipers just a little bit. And we take and put in the piston. And of course it won't won't go not unless you push it in there and you can also see that it's just a smidge above 11 sixteenths. I don't know where this thing focuses. Anyway, smidge above 11 sixteenths. So that's the amount of drag that you got to have on those lips. Now what we're going to do is take that that's measuring an original. This is an original. Now we're going to take the ones that I supply in my kit and take some castor oil use it as a, a lubricant and install the new seal right here before your very eyes I'm sorry I said seal it's a cup install the new cup right before your very eyes no this is not easy but you can do it and you don't want to use any sharp objects Slowly roll it on. Your fingernails. Okay, cups installed. Get the grease off my fingers with the oil. And let's try and Wipe this off, and once again, if we try to push it in there, we have resistance. Now let's get a measurement. Slight amount of drag on the calipers. Once again, you can see our measurement. We're just a, a hair above 11 sixteenths. If we try to put it in to the piston, 
Now the, the slave cylinder doesn't fit and it does we force it in. And once again, well you do it like this too for this matter for that matter. See, it won't slide down in there. You have to push it in. And that's the kind of drag you want. And now it's Okay. That's the kind of drag that you want on these things. And if using the, the correct brake fluid, which is dot three, you get a small percentage of swell on here. Um, not not a great deal, just a very small amount, which does um, but you can you can use silicone if you want to. It, I don't recommend it because it's these unit ball brake units were not designed for silicone. Uh, they're made in the fifties and they're designed for just regular old plain Jane dot three brake fluid. Now, all I can tell you is uh, the, the um, cup that comes with the kit for the T12 uh, and T14, and uh, actually it also will fit the uh, T50-24 uh, and 26 boosters, and it's, uh, it is the, um, the correct cup. The only difference in, from the original to the, the new one is the thickness width of the cup. This one takes up full... Uh, width of the groove. This one is a little bit thinner, but that's not going to matter. Uh, even if the cup shifts back and forth, it's not a problem. It, it does not make any difference. And I have plenty of videos on YouTube proving the fact that these boosters work just fine with these cups. Hope that helps you out.